Good morning. I haven't been able to do an opening interview yet because there's been deer all over the place. And there's one at the bottom of the field right now. A doe came by me this morning. And there's one out in the field right now at 450 yards. I don't think she's going to make it all the way down the field. Looks like she's headed into the tree line. This morning I had a doe come by in range and there's too much stuff in between us. It was right after light. I couldn't get a shot at her. Oh, there she goes. She's going back into the trees. Seeing deer movement, which is always good. I need to shoot a doe. Um, in our county of Virginia, after you shoot your first buck, you have to shoot a doe. I haven't been able to put a doe on the ground yet this year, so I need to catch back up. It's called the earn a buck system. I'm trying to go into rifle season with a buck tag when the rut's on, of course. Black powder season starts next weekend on November 5th. That'll open up my opportunities quite a bit. Late October, it starts to feel like you're actually hunting at least in our area, you know, we don't hunt deer farms. These are private access lands, but we're mostly hunting timber areas, timber ridges among agricultural properties. So we get a lot of deer movement, but early in the season when they're not moving in the daylight and they've got food everywhere, sometimes it feels like you're just out bird watching. If it doesn't pan out this morning, we'll see what we can get into this evening. I might have to pick a different spot to sit, but hopefully we see a little bit more action this morning. It'll give me a better idea where I need to be tonight. That's a young buck. Maybe a little spike or a button buck. My father-in-law is sitting down there. It's trying to check him out. He probably caught his scent, made him nervous, but he's too curious to know better. We shouldn't be hearing any of those this weekend.
That little doe came 500 yards. Man, that's what you're looking for. Praise the Lord. Quick, clean kill, 20 yard shot. Came 500 yards down that field. That's a gift. That's the only way to explain it. There's nothing that says that doe should have come 500 yards down this field right there to a perfect 20 yard shot. Yep. 18 yards to where the arrow's in the ground. Whew. All right, just got down out of the tree. Let's have a look at this arrow. I mean, obviously we know the end result, but it's always good to learn as much as you can. sank that far into the ground. These little single bevels, you really don't need a huge cutting broadhead to put deer down fast. You guys saw how quickly she went down. Just a little single bevel broadhead. But if you get them in the right spot and you get them razor, razor sharp, those deer and the bear, that's the same broadhead I shot the bear with, they'll go down. Leave that right there. Let's go take a look at her. My father-in-law is still hunting about 400 yards down the field, so I'm probably gonna drag her to the edge of the field and get to work on her. Well, here she is, my antlerless deer. This will get me back after those bucks. And uh, I may not hunt again until black powder. This next week, the weather is just not looking good. Um, it's going to be warm, 70s in the afternoon, and uh, only 45 lows in the evenings. We're going to have rain off and on as well. It's been an absolutely amazing bow season. Um, I can't stress enough how you know, even though we prepare and we put out food plots and we scout, run trail cameras, put up tree stands, all the things that we do are essentially just shots in the dark. You know, being successful is always a gift. And it's a gift I thank the Lord for every time I come out here, even when I'm just sitting watching the woods. Thanks for keeping up with my, with my videos and the bow hunts. We're going to get into black powder and then rifle. And I think I'm going to hang the bow up for a while. I've done about everything I set out to do with it this year. And uh, I love bow hunting, but it does present challenges. As always, guys, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, and God bless.